She can smell you from across the street. There was no mistake in the pungent scent of a man who was not yet complete. She's met you a thousand times. She sees you eyeing, trying to get her attention. Your condescension is sure to create a confrontation, aggravation. Grab my arm. Turn around and stare. You say, hey, shorty. Smile. Damn, shorty, you got a fat ass. Where are you going? I, I see you on the phone, but can I interrupt you for a minute? <laughs> yeah, I fucked the shit out of that. Ah. Oh, what? Well, you don't speak? How do I want to fuck you? I'm sorry, Nana. Yeah, I'm still here. I feel like definitely having vision coming on first with his piece really helped to set the tone because I think that Something like a man yelling something at you on the street, it's usually taken really loud, lightly. It's not even really th thought of commonly as being harassment. Mm -hmm. um, but just ha being able to have a man to you know, speak to that is really important. I also think that Noela's piece does a really good job of making the distinction between um, like acknowledging a human being, a person, and just acknowledging a body, acknowledging an object, or making someone into an object. So I think that her piece does a really good job of not just saying how women feel about it, but putting whoever's listening to it in that place so they can actually understand why street harassment is a problem. Well, for me, having you on stage with me was like such an amazing thing because being out there alone, first of all, I don't think I would have done it by myself. I just not, you know, I've never done that before. And, um, and having you up there, like, I really felt a strong sense of solidarity. And I feel like it showed the audience that, you know, we all have, so many of us have this story, this, this you know, narrative that we're used to. I think that the, the, the poem humanized me. So, you know, I'm more than what you see. I have a name, my name means something. I have an experience, and it was all really meaningful. Just, just seeing the piece, um, I think that, that was the biggest hook, like understanding that this is somebody with feelings, this is somebody with a life, this is somebody who's going somewhere. This isn't an object that you can just bid on and, and have a joke, you know, with your homies about, like, and then just dismiss when you when you can't have it your way. Like, I, the, the, the humanity in the poem just, I think, just, just brought it home for me. Um, as a man who's witnessed it, um, as a man whose friends to this day will still partake in stuff in that, you know, and just making sure that you check them and check your friends like, yo, that's somebody's sister, that's somebody's mom, that's somebody's aunt, whatever the case may be. And I, don't, I think a lot of men don't want to, to see that part because then it becomes so much harder to just disrespect somebody when you put a human face to it. And I think the poem and the performance tonight just, just really brought that full circle. I think a lot of the beauty to, to that is in the detail. So I think one of my favorite parts about the poem is when we're all like harassing you and you say, yeah, Nana, I'm still here. I'm still Yo, you know? like, or that, that part is like a gut punch. Yeah. Just like that, that, that balance that you have, that you're forced to do to like be a part of this, of this hot house space and, and still
Well, there you have it. Set off. Anti-Street Harassment 2011. Let's go.